told us it was Google's job to fix this. <laughs> Google should make it affordable to give every student a tablet. And Google should make it so that it's not so crazy to manage all those devices. And Google finally should make it way easier to find the best tools and content from a really diverse set of developers and get that content to the right students. We agree. So today I'm really excited to announce a new initiative which will make it easy and affordable for schools to put Android tablets in the hands of all their kids and to load them up with powerful educational content and tools. And I want to give you a sneak peek of one of the key parts of this effort, Google Play for Education, built from the ground up to meet the unique content needs of educators. Let's take a look. So the first thing you'll notice is that Google Play for Education is organized by categories educators care about, namely subject matter and grade level. For example, say I'm the K-6 math subject matter expert in my school district, and I want to find an educational app that my incoming kindergartners can use to sharpen their problem solving skills. So I click on math, kindergarten, and immediately I see a bunch of apps from a diverse set of partners, including NASA and PBS. Also, each app has been recommended by a group of educators as useful for teaching kindergarten math. This is key because teachers trust other teachers. So um, kids' numbers uh, and math from IntelliJoy looks really good. Uh, I'll start with the free version. Remember, I'm not shopping for myself here uh, because this school is using Google Apps for Education and every student has a Google account. I can just enter the name of the Google group of these students and bam, all 500 kindergartners in my district will instantly get this app on their tablets. a few weeks have gone by, and I'm really impressed with the math skills that kids are learning from kids' numbers in math, so I want to upgrade to the paid version so the kids can go deeper. Uh, rather than enter a credit card, which is not how schools work, I can just charge these 500 licenses against a balance funded by a school purchase order. And one more thing, notice that the store doesn't just have apps. You can discover books and YouTube educational videos and push them to Android tablets in exactly the same way. Sites like Kipbridge Charter School and Hillsborough Township Public Schools are already going crazy for this. Six elementary schools in New Jersey used 550 different third-party apps during a single day in our pilot. All of them discovered and downloaded by teachers in Google Play for Education. Multiply that pilot by millions of classrooms in the U.S. and you can see there's a huge opportunity here for educators, students, and for you as developers. So this is where you come in. We're doing the heavy lifting of building play for education, bringing it to the schools, making it easy for them to find great content and buy it in bulk. Now you can focus on what you do best, creating awesome and innovative educational content. We're gonna be launching Google Play for Education in the fall, uh, but starting this summer, we'll be ready to accept your app submissions. Check out our developer microsite at developer.android.com edu, where we posted guidelines on how to build awesome K-12 apps. Also, come find us at the Education Sandbox here at IO. Thanks, everyone.